This is Christina Fiore of MedPage Today reporting from the American Academy of Neurology meeting in Seattle. Adding the steroid methylprednisolone to interfere on beta-1A treatment for multiple sclerosis therapy may reduce disease activity better than interferon treatment alone. In a trial by Danish researchers, the combination failed to meet its primary endpoint of time to sustain progression. However, a host of secondary and tertiary outcomes, including functionality and relapse rates, showed promise for the treatment, as Dr. Mads Ravenborg of Odense University Hospital in Copenhagen explains. The time to sustain progression, anyway. Uh, was not different. There was no statistically different uh, uh, difference in in the two uh, groups between the two groups. Uh, and but there was a trend. There was a trend against a benefit of uh, methylprednisolone in addition to Avonex. But it was not statistically uh, st statistically significant. So. Having said that, we have to conclude that this study per definition was negative. Dr. Ravenborg clarified that there was a trend toward a benefit from the steroid and sustained progression, but he said the key is looking at the secondary and tertiary outcomes, for example, functionality and brain volume, which showed significant differences between groups. Adjusted annual relapse time was a key secondary outcome. The adjusted um, annualized relapse rate was 0.2 in the methylprednisolone and 0.33 in the placebo group, which is a reduction of 38%. I don't know whether you uh, are aware that these immunomodulatory drugs against placebo have a f an effect of about 30% reduction in relapse rate. So this was a further 38% percent reduction uh, uh, by combining with methylprednisolone. Dr. Ravenborg noted the study had a high dropout rate, though this was not unexpected. It was surely the effect, the, the, the expected side effects of having high doses of steroids. We know they are flushing, they have, high, uh, they have a high pulse, they can't sleep, uh, many of these people. So uh, it's a hard time to, to keep these people in, in the study. And most of those uh, leaving the discontinuing treatment discontinued within the first year, uh, about 60%. So, so it, it, we, it, we may have a hard time to uh, have a good compliance uh, for this treatment. However, which I didn't touch upon in my presentation was that it seemed very safe. We didn't have any, uh, uh, we had very few serious uh, adverse events and in fact uh, there was a trend against a more pronounced side effect burden in the placebo group than in the um, uh, methylprednisolone group. He added that it is hard to make clinical recommendations at this point. We haven't really uh, pondered what should be the recommendation from that because as this is f principally a negative study you might come up with all all the reluctancy of uh, and the inertia of, of uh, practical treatment uh, but uh, I think in in my clinic and, and probably in, in Scandinavia this will have the consequence that Patients might be started up front, these were naive patients, treatment naive patients, so they might be started with Avonex and, and or another interferon together with pulse steroid treatment for the first uh, one to two years simply to consolidate the effect. Dr. Ravenborg concluded that although the study was principally negative, so many secondary and tertiary outcomes support the idea of combining interferon with pulsed steroid therapy. I'm Christina Fiore, MedPage Today.